Since 1947, the World Affairs Council has become the preeminent global stage for world leaders and the public to inform, engage, and debate the most important issues of our time. It's your world. Get to know it. We are in the midst of an election season uh, and next year will be even worse when Mr. Obama will be preparing for his second term election campaign. So it's understandable that the administration <coughs> in Washington has its highest priority, for its highest priority, the objective of exiting from Afghanistan exiting with uh, dignity and exiting with uh, leaving behind at least some kind of a system in place uh, which will ensure reasonable respect for human rights of the people, especially for women, and in a reasonably stable Afghanistan. I suppose this should be the objective of Washington. Bringing Taliban back into the government may sound logical, I think, uh, as we are all fond of saying that this should be, <coughs> this is an Afghan-led process of reconciliation. It is for the Afghans, after all, it is their country. If they want to live together in peace and so on, if they want to bring Taliban back into the government or the mainstream of society, and if Taliban are so willing to be inducted, why not? After all, it is their country, and we should not object to that. And of course, we are not objecting to that. But one should at least do this with open eyes. As they say, eyes wide shut. And, uh, and see <coughs> what are likely to be the consequences of this. And it seems to me that the consequences are not going to be very pleasant, first of all, for the people of Afghanistan, and secondly, for the region as a whole, and certainly not for India. But everybody now accepts, including General Petraeus, that this war is not a winnable war in Afghanistan. In other words, Taliban <coughs> win this war by not losing, and the coalition lose this war by not winning. And that's an unfortunate fact of life which we have to contend with. But along with this military surge, in parallel, what we need is a diplomatic surge. Uh, 